Well, welcome, welcome to today's glorious service. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'm so glad you've logged in. Please go ahead, do me a favor, text a friend, share the link, subscribe, spread the word that we're on live right now. Let's get more people into this broadcast. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. I want to say a huge, huge, huge God bless you for being here today. If today is your first time, thank you so much for joining us. This is Dominion International Center Cyprus, where we raise pace setters and role models who reign in absolute dominion and prosperity in life. We love God and we love people. God has called us to do one thing, to raise leaders, leaders who love God and who love people. Thank you so much for being here today. Please go ahead, text the word guest to 832-789-4949. We'd love to share more information about us and to also be a huge blessing to you. Thank you so much for being here. For everyone else, I know that it's going to be an amazing day in God's presence. If you're celebrating a birthday or an anniversary, I know you're celebrating quarantine style. We want to say a huge God bless you to you. And we know that this season, God will do amazing things in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. All right, are we ready for the word? Let's go ahead and start with a word of prayer. Father, we thank you for what you are going to do in today's service. To you alone be all the praise. We take cover under the precious blood of Jesus. Holy Spirit is you we want to hear, not a man. So don't let your people see or hear me. Let them see and hear you. When all is said and done, you take all the glory and let the blessings be ours. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. And somebody said, Amen. All right, let's go ahead to Hebrews chapter 13, verse 15. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 15. We're going to read that verse of scripture together. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 15. It says, therefore, by him, let us continually offer the sacrifice of praise to God. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. Someone say amen. So we continue on our series that we've titled the power of prevailing praise, the power of prevailing praise. And this is going to be the third installment in this teaching. And we've covered quite a bit on this topic. But listen to me. One of, the, one of life's greatest discoveries that you will ever make is that God loves to be praised. I'm telling you, it's one of the discoveries that I have made personally. And for those that are champions on this earth, that's what they have made. That God loves to be praised. So when we engage in prevailing praise, we celebrate God for being the Lord Most High. We celebrate God for His awesome ability as great King. We celebrate God because He is worthy to be praised. And we've covered, you know, what prevailing praise is all about. We said that prevailing praise is an invitation that God responds to. Prevailing praise is an invitation that God never turns down. That's why I call it the shortest and the surest access to your breakthrough. It's the surest and the shortest access to your breakthrough. Because when you pray, you simply inform God. But when you praise, you involve God in your situation. Why is that so important? Because we said prevailing praise guarantees God's presence. And when God shows up on your behalf, when he shows up concerning your case, that situation bows. Obstacles turn to miracles. Lack turns into abundance. Captivity turns into freedom. The impossible becomes possible. All because you have brought God in by your prevailing praise. And I challenged you. I said, when you are faced with an impossible situation, you confront it with prevailing praise. And we saw so many examples in scripture of those people that were faced with impossible situations. And how it all turned around 
in their favor because of their prevailing praise. So the impact of your praise, which we talked about last week, we said the impact of your praise is, 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 is in the fact that God is in your praise. We said revelation is in your praise. Power is in your praise. Increase is in your praise. But all of it hinges on the fact that when God is pleased in response to the pleasure that he has from your prevailing praise, he turns the situation around in your favor. But what I want us to see this morning is this, that though the impact of your praise is so profound, though the impact is, 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 is so powerful, the impact is not always exactly as we have said it because there are some ingredients that must be present the impact of praise where god is present where power is present where increase flows all of that happens whenever the quality of your praise is intact and the way you present your praise is intact that's what our anchor scripture is talking about you know this morning it says therefore let us continually offer up to god the sacrifice of praise that tells me that the quality of my prevailing praise matters the quality of my prevailing praise is so important and we're going to look at that today and then next week we're going to talk about how you present your prevailing praise so the quality of prevailing praise matters because only accept Acceptable praise is rewarded by God. Only acceptable praise gets its answer. So it's not just presenting your prevailing praise now. It's pre- pre- presenting it and, and doing it, you know, with quality. So the implication is that not all praises are accepted. And that's why what we're talking about today is so, so profound. We want to look at the qualities of acceptable praise prevailing praise if you look at our anchor scripture in the new uh, uh, international version look at what the bible says it says through jesus uh, therefore let us continually offer to god a sacrifice of praise the fruit of lips that openly profess his name So, from there, we see that the quality of acceptable prevailing praise must be offered first through Jesus. It must be offered through Jesus, meaning that you offer your prevailing praise in the name of Jesus. You offer it on his merit. You offer it on the merit of what Jesus did on the cross because it's Jesus that gave us direct access to the Father because of Easter, because of what he did on the cross, because he died and he resurrected on the third day. The Bible tells us that, you know, there used to be a separation between God and man. We saw that in the depiction of the tabernacle. The Bible says that there was a veil that separated, you know, the, the, the holy place from where the people were. But when Jesus died and resurrected, the Bible says that that veil was turned from top to bottom, signifying that we have access. We see that in Matthew 27 verse 51. Matthew 27 verse 51. It says that, that when Jesus rose, right? He says that the veil of the temple was turned in two from top to bottom and the earth quaked and the rocks were split. That's it. So, so when you offer prevailing praise, you're offering it through Jesus. That's what makes it acceptable because of what Jesus did on the cross. God, Jesus gave us access. And the Bible also tells us in John 1, 3 that everything was made through Jesus. So God created everything through Jesus and nothing was created except it came through Jesus. All things were made through him and without him nothing was made that was made. So prevailing praise must be offered through Jesus. Prevailing praise must be offered through Jesus. When you offer it through Jesus, when you offer it on the merit of what he did on the cross, not on the fact that you can sing, not on the fact that you have a beautiful voice. You know, there are some people that, that think that that's what makes them, you know, worshippers, you know, or, or, or people that can praise. No, you're coming through Jesus, the one whom gave us the 
access to the Father. And that's what makes prevailing praise acceptable. There are a lot of people that are praising today, but they're coming in their own name. They're coming in their own, they, with their own credentials instead of coming through the one that really gave us the access, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So if your praise is going to be accepted, if your if your prevailing praise is going to have merit with God, you must do it through Jesus. Next, we see from that scripture, it says through Jesus. What else? It says that we must offer it continually. We must offer it continually. We see that in that verse of scripture. It says through Jesus, we offer, through Jesus, let us continually offer to God. So, if prevailing praise is going to be acceptable, it must be something that you do continually, meaning you must be relentless with it. It means that you must do it constantly. You must do it regularly. You must do it routinely. You must do it repeatedly. You must do it persistently. You must do it endlessly. That's the secret of acceptable prevailing praise. The Bible tells us that that was the secret of David. David said, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Psalm 34, 1. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. He understood what made praise acceptable to God. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, this is serious business. This is serious business. There are a lot of people that offer God praise casually. They offer God praise anytime they want. But David was one who found the secret. He said, I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. It was serious business for him and it must be serious business for you also. You bind yourself in commitment to always offer God prevailing praise. Look at what the Bible says in Psalm 104 verse 33. Psalm 104 verse 33. It says, I will sing my song to the Lord as long as I live every day. I will sing my praises to God. Hallelujah. That's it. You do it with every sense of mission. You do it with every sense of urgency. You do it with every sense of responsibility. You do it as a covenant. You do it on a daily schedule. You do it as a job. Why? Because you praise to live and you live to praise. That's it. The main objective, the main purpose for your creation, according to what the Bible says, is that you were created and you are made to praise Him. So you must do it continually. It's not something you can do casually. It's not something that you can do, you know, uh, uh, just because. This thing is your life source. It's like air to you. It's like you're breathing. It's your life Force. That's what the Bible says. It says that these people I have formed for myself, they will praise me. And that translation, I believe the message translation of Isaiah 43 verse 21, it says that you are custom made to praise him. It said these people I made especially for myself, a people custom made to praise me. You are custom made to praise God. God. That's who you are. So if you are not engaging in prevailing praise, you are not fulfilling destiny. If you are not engaging in prevailing praise, you are not fulfilling destiny. He says that you are a chosen generation. He says you are God's own special treasure. You have been called out of darkness into his marvelous life to offer him praise. And it's something you must do continuously. It's something you must do endlessly. It's something you must do relentlessly. You must do do it like your life depends on it. So you must get, set a schedule to praise God. Have a constant daily time in which you offer God praise. Because when you do it with that sense of mission, when you do it with that sense like it's a covenant, you will find that it becomes acceptable and God comes to come and do amazing things in your life. And that will be your experience in the mighty name of Jesus. So, so, Quality, acceptable praise is something that you do through Jesus and it's also something that you offer continuously. Next, from that verse of scripture, Hebrews 13, 15, it says, through Jesus, let us continually offer to God a sacrifice of praise. So thirdly, you must 
offer it sacrificially. It's something that you offer sacrificially. In other words, it's something that must have value. It's something that must cost you something. It must cost you time. It must cost you energy. It must cost you your resources. It must cost you your convenience. You must offer it sacrificially. I see a lot of people offer God praise today, but it costs them nothing. When it's, when, it's, when it's inconvenient, they don't praise God. Listen, anyone can praise God on the mountaintop, but can you praise God in the valleys? Can you praise God when you are going through the valley of the shadow of death? It must be sacrificial. It must have value. Listen, until it's sacrificial, it doesn't become prevailing praise. Until it is sacrificial, it doesn't become prevailing praise. It's just going to be convenient singing. It's just going to be something that you just do. But when you, when you make it a sacrifice, then it becomes prevailing praise. It becomes a covenant. Psalm 50 verse 5 tells us that. Psalm 50 verse 5. Look at what the Bible says. Psalm 50 verse 5, it says, Gather my saints together to me, those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. So you make a covenant with God by saying, Lord, I will offer you a sacrifice of praise every single day of my life. You know why? It's at the level of sacrifice you get God's attention. When your praise gets to the level of sacrifice, when it has value, when it has cost you time, energy, resources, your convenience, that's when it gets God's attention. And when it gets God's attention, you will always secure his manifested presence. Remember, this thing is about value. It's about sacrifice. You know, a story that comes to mind is the story of when Jesus was sitting, you know, opposite the offering bucket in the book of Mark chapter 12. The Bible tells us that Jesus was watching people come into his presence, worship him with praise, with their giving, with their giving. And he talked about, you know, wealthy people were giving lots of money, lots of money, you know, in praise, in adoration of God. But he said that, that none of that caught his attention. He was just looking at them when they were doing that. But none of that caught his attention until a widow, a poor widow showed up. And the Bible says all she put in was two mites. You can, talk, you can call it two dimes, two pennies. And immediately, Jesus called the disciples, come come, come, come here, come here, come here. You, you, you see that woman? She gave more than all those other guys. See, all those other guys were giving of their abundance, right? They were giving of their resources plenty. He said, but you see that woman? She gave something of value. In other words, this thing is not about volume. It's about value. It's not about volume. It's not about you. You are praising God 20 hours, 24 hours, 36 hours, 48 hours. Does it have any value? Has it cost you anything? Has it cost you time? Has it cost you, you know, your convenience? This thing is about value, not volume. So you can sit down and say you are engaging in 24 hour praise. But it might, it might have no, no, you know, uh, attention with God. Because it costs you nothing. But you can spend just seven minutes like we've we've been instructed and you make it a valuable seven minutes when you're tired you've worked and had a long day and you're ready to go to bed or you're feeling you know uh not so strong in your body and you say lord in spite of this i will offer you my seven minutes of praise that is value it is the value the fact that it involves a sacrifice that's what gets its attention so when you get God's attention, he shows up with the glory of his presence. Remember I told you God is present everywhere because of his omnipotence. But he's not manifested everywhere. When we offer him the sacrifice of praise, that's when we get his attention and we secure his manifested presence. Remember the example of Paul and Silas in Acts chapter 16? Paul and Silas, they were incarcerated deep in dungeon, in the dungeon, chained down. It's very easy to complain in that kind of situation. It's very easy to be dejected. However, the Bible tells us that at midnight, at a set time, at their regular set time, at midnight, they decided to turn 
to the praise channel. They decided to offer God sacrificial praise. Praise that cost them their convenience. They were in prison. They were chained down. It's easy to just lie there and succumb to the situation. Look at what's going on in our world right now. COVID-19 is ravaging the world. But some people are sitting down at home dejected that they are on lockdown. They are dejected. They are complaining. They are, they are surfing social media, joining a conspiracy theory. Instead of them to use that time to give God quality sacrificial praise. When you do that, you get God's attention. He comes and steps in into your situation. And that will be your experience in this season. So please, let's offer God quality sacrificial praise so that we can get his attention so he can continue to step into our situation so that this pandemic can come to an end if just a few of us believers who have this revelation who praise God with understanding just do these things that I'm telling you I'm telling you this COVID-19 will be defeated in a heartbeat but what God is doing today is opening our eyes of revelation so that we can do it correctly. So, quality, acceptable, prevailing praise is one that you offer through Jesus. You offer it continuously. You offer it sacrificially. And then one more thing that we see from Hebrews thirteen fifteen. Not only do we do it in those three ways, it says, through Jesus, therefore, let us continually offer to God a sacrifice of praise. He says, the fruit of lips that openly confess his name. In other words, it must be offered wholeheartedly. You must offer prevailing praise wholeheartedly. Meaning, you do it joyfully. You do it willingly from the depths, from the crevices of your heart. I say you do it from the the foundation, from your core. Your mouth must be speaking and singing what is leaking from your heart. That's it. You must do it wholeheartedly. The Bible says, I will bless the Lord. It says, it says bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. You are doing it with 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 the depth of your being. You are doing it joyfully. You are doing it willingly. You are doing it passionately. There's emotion involved. You are doing it enthusiastically. From the depths of your heart, your mouth must be speaking and singing what is leaking from your heart. Look at what Psalm 86 verse 12 and 13 says. Psalm 86 verse 12 and 13. Look at what the Bible says. It says, With all my heart, I will praise you, O Lord my God. I will give glory to your name forever. Verse 13, it says, For your love for me is very great. You have rescued me from the depths of death. So the psalmist is saying, Because of God's love for me, because of how he has rescued me from the, the crevices of death, with it, it touches my heart so much. I will praise you. Because, Lord, you have not allowed COVID-19 to touch me or any member of my family. Because you have kept me safe and secure, I will bless you and I will praise you from the depths of my heart. That must be our response. That's us offering God praise wholeheartedly. When you do that, your praise will be accepted. It will be prevailing praise. Because I don't want us to just embark on this praising and be wondering why are we not seeing results. We must do it the prescribed way according to scripture. Listen, how do you know the nature of your heart? How does God know the nature of your heart? It's by the fruit of your lips. It's by the fruit of your lips. Just as the fruit reveals the nature of the tree, the fruit of your lips, the quality of your prevailing praise reveals the nature of your heart. That's what the Bible says. It says, by their fruit, you will know them. A tree, the quality of the tree is known by its fruits. So the quality of your praise, right, reveals the nature of your heart. And here's the point. The point is that acceptable praise is a matter of the heart. 
Acceptable praise is a matter of the heart. When the heart is right, the quality of praise will be right. That's what the Bible tells us. You know, Jesus was telling, you know, uh, 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 he was having a discussion in, in Matthew chapter 15. He said that some people were drawing near with their lips. And look at it. He says, these people draw near to me with their mouth. Right? They are singing songs. They are saying all this nice stuff. He said, they honor me with their lips. Yeah, what they are saying seems right. He said, but their heart. Can you see that? He says, their heart is far from me. That will not be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Look at what verse 9 says. Verse 9 says, And in vain they worship me. You will not worship God in vain. You will not praise God in vain. You will not praise God where your praise is not accepted. The acceptable prevailing praise is a matter of the heart. When your heart is in the right place, the quality of your praise will be right. And the whole reason is because the quality of the harvest that you get is determined by the quality of your praise. And the quality of your praise is determined by the state of your heart. So that's my clarion call to us today. The challenge is for you to get your heart right. The challenge for you is to, is to go away from the phoniness and let your, or your praise come from an authentic heart that loves God let the quality of your prevailing praise be acceptable let it come from a heart that is so much in love with God go deeper in your love walk with God go deeper in your love fall in love with him afresh what's happening in our world today doesn't touch the lovers of God so you need to get to that point where the depth of your praise is coming from the depth of your love and when your heart is right the quality of your praise will be right when your heart is right the quality of your prevailing praise will bring the results to you so i challenge you today get your heart right there are some of us we just need to realign our heart we've been focusing so much on what's happening or what god has not done now focus on god fall in love with him again when you do that out of the depth and the quality of your relationship, your praise to God will come. And when it comes like that, you will find that it to be accepted. And once it's accepted, God will show up on your behalf. Your love with God begins when you surrender your heart to Him. So, in case you are listening to me this uh, glorious day, and you know your heart is not right with God, I'm not saying that you don't go to church. I'm talking about having a love relationship with God. And you want that to begin today. That's where prevailing praise begins from. You want him to touch your heart. You want him to transform you. I would like to pray with you this morning. Or somehow you used to be a Christian, but somehow you went back into sin and you want him to restore you today. Just put your hand upon your chest and let me pray with you this glorious day so that the power of God will touch you so that he will change you and you can begin to offer acceptable prevailing praise so that you can step into your situation say this prayer with me say father I thank you for Jesus who died for me today I confess my sins I ask that you forgive me be my Lord and my Savior thank you for saving me in Jesus name I pray Amen. Let me pray for you. Father, thank you for these ones that you have drawn to yourself. No one comes to you except you draw them to yourself. Thank you. Reveal yourself to them. Thank you for recalibrating their heart. And thank you for giving them grace to offer you acceptable praise. Acceptable prevailing praise. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And someone said, Amen and Amen. Listen to me. What we are talking about today is so, so profound. Remember, he has given us an instruction to praise him for seven minutes every day. Through the course of this month, the instruction you obey determines the future that you enjoy. The instruction you obey determines the future that you create. But for the seven minutes to be profitable for you, you have to make sure 
that you're offering your praise through Jesus. You're offering your praise on a schedule continuously. You're offering your praise sacrificially and you're doing it with your whole heart. And as you do, the Lord of heaven will show up on your behalf. The Lord of heaven will defeat all your foes. The Lord of heaven will turn your situation around for good. He will cause you to have a new song to sing. He will come and be your fortress even in this time of global pandemic. And he will keep you in perfect peace. And that will be your experience in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, someone say amen to that. Can you do me a favor wherever you are right now for the next 60 seconds, in your own words, in your own way, just go ahead and begin to appreciate God. Begin to celebrate Him and give Him praise for who He is. Say, Father, I love you. Father, I bless your holy name. Thank you for being so good to me. Thank you for being so faithful in my life and my family. Thank you for keeping me even in this period. Thank you for being my shield and my buckler. Thank you for being my strength. Thank you for being my backbone. Thank you for being my fence. Thank you for being my defense. Thank you for giving me a new song to sing. Thank you for protecting me. Father, I thank you for who you are in my life. I give you all the praise. Come on, go ahead and bless him. Go ahead and magnify him. Go ahead and worship him. Let him hear your voice. Let him hear your voice. Come on, you can do it louder. You can do it louder. Let him hear your voice. Rise to your feet. Give him praise. Lift those hands. Worship him. Father, we give you all the glory. Lord, we magnify you. We lift up one voice. We make one sound. To you alone be all the praise. Thank you, precious Father. We give you all the praise. And the people of God said, Amen. Come on where you are. Put those hands together and celebrate him. Give him all the glory. Father, we worship you. Hallelujah. So please, that's how you do your praise. That's how you do it. So set out time. And engage in the seven minutes of praise and you'll have a sweet testimony in Jesus' mighty name. Someone say amen. All right. Uh, before we close the service, let's go ahead and give. I want to use this opportunity to say a huge, huge God bless you for your generosity and for your faithfulness in your continued giving. We've been able to continue to, you know, uh, help people even in this time of global pandemic so if god lays it upon your heart you know to even give something extra even today please go ahead and do that no one can outgive god every seed that you sow registers in the heart of god and it gives you abundant blessings in return someone say amen all right let's go ahead and give giving electronically is the best way to give you can see the information on the screen go ahead text the word give to 832-789-4949 or you can navigate to our website dicypress.org forward slash give i'm well aware that some of you are watching on the device you normally give with but i know that the moment we complete uh this uh online church you will go ahead and complete your giving you can directly transfer your funds using zelle just use the church email address, admin at dicypress.org. Or you can just mail your check to the address on your screen. Go ahead, prepare your tithe, your offering, your seed, whatever you have brought in. And as you give, the Lord of heaven will bless you in Jesus' name. While we're preparing our offerings, just want to use this opportunity to uh, remind us to please take this instruction of seven minutes of praise very, very seriously. God wants to show up and show out on your behalf. And also, this evening, there will be a special anointing service. We're going to be hooking up to our headquarter church at 6 p.m. this evening for a special anointing service. Don't miss it. You can log on to dominionlifestyle.org, dominionlifestyle.org to watch. It's going to be a special anointing service led by our presiding pastor, Pastor Toya Demola. So make it a date this evening at 6 p.m. And as you do, the Lord of heaven bless you in Jesus' name. All right, are we ready with our offerings? Go ahead, lift up that device that you're giving with this morning as we present our seat to the Father. Father, we thank you for this privilege that we have to give. We give because we love you. We give in obedience to your word. Father, command your blessing upon our seed. Command your blessing upon everyone that is sowing and let our blessing and harvest never end. Thank you because you continue to give us seed. You continue to be our unlimited source of supply. We give you all the praise. Receive this offering in Jesus' mighty name. Someone say amen. Come on. Go ahead and complete your giving. Complete your giving. 
for those of us that have a second device to do it. And for those of us, the moment we come we finish this broadcast, make sure you complete your giving. As you do, the Lord of heaven bless you in Jesus' name. Come and lift your hands as I prophesy over you. I declare and decree over you that this week is your week of favor. This week, as you praise God, God steps into your situation. This week, God will cause men, women, institutions to favor you. Whatever you do this week, you will be sharing amazing testimonies. The Shekinah glory of God covers you. The affliction that is going on in the world will not touch you. It will not touch your loved ones. No plague will come near you. No disease will come near your dwelling. In the mighty name of Jesus. And in this season, God will lift you to greater heights. You will not suffer any losses. In the mighty name of Jesus. I declare and decree the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Come on someone say amen to that. Alright. Let's go ahead and share the grace and fellowship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now and forevermore. And someone say, Amen. Please, I want you to be expectant this week. It's going to be a glorious week. God will turn things around in your favor in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, someone say, Amen to that. Now, let's say our dominion decree as loud as you can. Come on, I'm, I'm person of dominion. I want to go. I'm person of dominion. I live in dominion. Dominion over sin, sicknesses, diseases, oppression, poverty, and all the wickedness of the devil. I am an outstanding success. I'm a role model. I'm a pace setter. I'm born to win. I'm born to reign. Come on, someone say amen. Now turn to your neighbor to the left, to the right. Or if you're by yourself, put your hand upon your chest and say this boldly. Say, I love you with the love of the Lord. And there's nothing you can do about it. As your pastor who loved you, I want you to know that you're precious in God's eyes. Have a blessed week and see you next time.